One bingo palooza dinner invitation to the Duke. One bingo palooza dinner invitation to Bill and Tommy. Great lover cakes. What is making that horrible stench? <laughs> Yvonne was his name. Exploring new worlds he dreamed was his fame. But reading a map was not his forte. So poor Yvonne was soon cast away. Yvonne, Yvonne, oh, oh will you call? Sailing the stormy seas. Yvonne, Yvonne, oh, 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 no one could hear his pleas. He soon found himself in a bit of a pickle. The frigid North Seas proved more than fickle. Yvonne's navigation would soon cost a price. He was knocked overboard and turned into ice. Yvonne, Yvonne oh, 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 will you call? Was volunteer. Yvonne, Yvonne, oh, Yvonne, Yvonne, frozen for hundreds of years. Three hundred years passed, and with some irony, his scheme was thought of by much need to be. Yvonne claimed the land for his country's glory, and, and that's, that's the start of the Yvonne story. Yvonne, 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 oh, Yvonne, frozen by ice. Frosted for you and for me. if you all decide to let us be your host city. <sighs> Deluxe accommodation, gourmet food, top-rate entertainment, we've got it all. Just feast your eyes. <laughs> On second thought, forget that. Dami and Bill gets the invitation? Duke and Willie gets the invitation? Even this smelly dog Mutt gets the invitation. <laughs> but not Yvonne. Oh, no, no, no. Look, you can have mine. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> this is not the first time I've been slighted by the powers that be. Why? What happened before? Ah, <laughs> the pain. She is so deep. I, I cannot tell you. <laughs> All right, you force it out of me. Every time King Louis puts on the big fancy ball, who do you think is the last one to know about it? Oh. Ah, I've consumed too many apparatus. Quickly, to the little boy's room. Get out of the way, you fool! Oh. Your Majesty! Your Majesty! When will I ever get to go to the ball? Oh, I am ready to burst! Did he say on the first? Hey, you, cushion! Get back to work! Vaughn, it's okay. I'm sure your invitation will be here soon. 
I even made one of these for us. Aren't they beautiful? Bear me. What did you say? Come on, bear, bear me. Get it yourself, you skinny slug. Distinguished guest. What am I thinking? I can't take Carlin to the banquet. He's the laziest man that ever lived. But then again, if I married him, could he really be that bad? Bear me! Bear me! Bear me! <sighs> if only someone else could accompany me to that dinner. Someone with a little more joy to fever. As a gentleman, how can I make this up to you? Hmm. Shorty, you're taking me to the ball. It's just weird. What? That Yvonne should finally get to go to the fancy bar? No, that Big Mary would ask you. And why not? Yvonne is a handsome and witty rockin too. Just make sure it's okay with Harlan. Hmm? Her husband? She's kind of married, you know. Yeah, good point. I shall grovel at his feet immediately. Hey, Mayor! When you gonna play my Crash Dudes video game with me? Harlan? I got a banquet to host. You mean like you're going without me? Of course, you big dope. You've never liked formal dinners. I ain't? No, you're far too sophisticated for that. You're a man of action. Eh, well, you got that right. Which is why I've taken the liberty to ask Yvonne instead. Yvonne, huh? Well, I reckon he's all right, I guess. Monsieur, I humbly request that you allow my dazzling self to accompany Big Mary to this bar. Huh? Yeah, okay, geez, why not? Merci! Your generosity shall not be without consequence. All right, free food! You think they'll have those little appetizer thingies? We better have more than that. Whoa. Hey, Harlan, where's your wife? Thank heaven, saucy big women. <laughs> Thank heaven for all of that. <laughs> Today, men who have had their wives stolen away from them. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, come back. We love you. That does it. I'm gonna kill him. There are no napkins. Oh, my. He's so charming. Everyone, let's give a big round of applause so Klaus Dorkmeyer and Cynthia Weedle will choose Up Your Mucklock as the site for the next International Bingo Palooza. I said clap! Oops. Madame, please allow me. Oh, my. Thank you. Why are you? Ain't no Frenchman gonna... Why, child? 
For the enjoyment of our honored guests, here is the Up Your Mucklock Secondary School Glee Club Choir. We are the North. We are the people. We are the ones that you should choose to host your next bingo palooza. What the? Ah, these flies, they are after the sticky sauce. Why, that no good cheek. But, monsieur, was it not you who gave him permission to escort her, huh? Yeah? Well, who asked you? Oh, mon dieu! I gotta get a better view. And now, the walrus mating call. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Bingo Palooza Disco! All right, little man, prepare to die. I'm in a swoon. And I have lost a shoe. Uh, I, I definitely need some air. <laughs> Yvonne? Whoa! It's been sweet of you to help me out. I don't know the last time I remember feeling so much. No, please. Pain! I have something in my eye. Ah, allow me to have a look. That's it, Valentino. Start saying your prayers. Yvonne, look! It's the Northern Lights. And a shooting star! Happened to you? It's all over. I lost Big Mary. <laughs> hmm. Oh, here. Maybe a bowl of walrus fin soup will cheer you up, huh? <laughs> My friend, you are not the first to experience such ravages of the heart. I ain't. Good heavens, no! But tell me, do you still care for this woman? Is she still the same delicate creature you fell in love with so many years ago? Pretty 
much. Then our task is clear. You must woo her back immediately, and I, the Duke, shall help. Over here's the police station, which houses our crack anti-terrorist unit. And over there's the Department of Yukon Affairs, which houses our crack team of government bureaucrats. Big Mary, I admit, I'm impressed. Yeah, maybe this place not such a dump. Big Mary, I'll bring you some tea! Flowers and chocolates. Well, don't just stand there, you idiot. The poems. <laughs> Wait, Mayor! I read some poems for you. Who is that irritating man? <laughs> you are my darling, the love of my life, my sweet little pumpkin, my precious wife. I ain't got no other. You're my only fine. So get your butt back here before I lose my mind. Cheek! What's happening, Duke? <gasps> She's coming. Now remember, when she sees you, that one fleeting image must be so striking that it will rekindle her love for you immediately. Now go! She's going to see him! Patience, my good man. Patience. I found this at the bingo barn. Ah, Big Mary, you have made my dream of going to the ball come true. And you helped me cinch next year's bingo palooza, fella. Kiss them! That does it. Darling, no! <laughs> Monsieur, I did not order an escort. You two timing wife stealing thief! I'm challenging you, you to a duel! Sacrament. At noon, puke face, and you better be there. Yvonne, you can't fight him. Tommy, where I come from, no man turns down a duel. Do you understand? No man! Okay, okay. <laughs> Say? He, he says, says he's prepared, prepared to, to wear, wear your pants. pants. What's that supposed to mean? Ah, never mind. Get ready, cause here I come. Here I go. I'll cry up. You wish to play dirty? You're looking at the king of dirt, fella. There is nothing worse than a denim wedgie in this fall. Remedy! Hey, what's going on? I 
thought we had us a deal to sign. Not till you tell us what's going on out there. I know the boy. International Bingo Palooza. Get out of my way, losers! <laughs> Harlan, my baby! <laughs> Get back, you! He ain't ready yet! Speak! Big Barry, I fear it was our time together that created this tragedy. Say something, you lunkhead! Uh, Barry. Yeah! Oh, Harlan, only an idiot would have done what you did. I love you so much. <laughs> There's more to life than bingo, you know! Oh, yeah? Like what? I uh, see, Tommy. The Vaughn goes to the fancy ball, and he even gets his shoe back. <laughs> uh, good things come to those who wait, huh? You know, I wonder who said that. What? Are you an imbecile? I said that. Me! Evo! 